Hi everybody, it's great to be back. I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and these are the cards that I'll be using this week. The Transparent Tarot and the Everyday Witch because of the Halloween theme that I'm busy with and because of the Witches series. I hope you are enjoying the Witches series. It is not talking about the Witches um, altogether it is about the environment about what's going on today in in the in general and also we'll be doing um, recipes and we'll, uh, on budget cooking and health that is where the what we are doing in the witches series and if you would like to get into it yourself then these are the two books this one is The Workplace and Spells by Marla Brooks. We did the series on her oracle card, the Witch's Oracle Cards. And this one is by TJ Perkins, The Healthy Witch. And it's great fun. Georgina and I are having great fun and laughs. And she's bringing also things from the outside, from other cultures, other beliefs, other things that she does. And I basically do... Um, the healing side with the tarot and Reiki and meditation. She does meditation as well, but where it, it's it's really um, something that you can sit down, grab a cuppa, and sit in peace and just listen to the conversation. And if you buy the books yourself, then you can bring yourself back into the strength as well. But it's also great fun to exchange this with somebody else and we'll be starting um, the workshops in Georgina and I um, in January so if you would like to join um, uh, in with the workshop it will be 150 euros um, for m maximum of 10 to 11 uh, episodes um, that's how long and it will be once a week and we'll get together um, in Zoom. I think that's the best option. You can switch your camera off and listen or interact by just talking. So I'm looking forward to that but this month it's an exciting month because I'll be making something um, uh, creatively and also something that you can eat. So I'm combining two things made out of one so keep your eyes peeled for that video which is coming up uh, which I will be making will also have uh, a person coming in doing reflexology uh, on the face or the hands and we also will hopefully will have Jan in to do her video on the gemstones so I hope you will follow the um, which is series uh, because we discuss colors of the candles there uh, oils um, fragrances incense etc etc it's absolutely lovely and um, you most probably have already seen the video on the candles making candles at home or buying them scented and colored and we go into discussion about that as well that is with Tracy uh, Castledine Go and have a look on her Facebook uh, Facebook page, um, uh, Love Lizzie. Uh, so go and have a look. But I hope you will enjoy this video for you for your for yourself, of course, this week, because this reading is going to be from the fifth of October to the eleventh, and time does fly. And please click on the uh, the bell, subscribe, and click on the bell on all then you be notified when I go live um, or when new videos are loaded up. I'm so busy with making this series that I sometimes get really exhausted and can't make the um, uh, Friday night live so I'm sorry uh, for last night I didn't go live but I will be going live tonight so I hope you will join me there take care and in and have a lovely week and also there's a video um, under updates uh, for setting your settings after you've subscribed and hit that bell 
then you will be notified. Otherwise, you won't be notified. Okay, take care, God bless, and stay safe. And please give me the thumbs up. Ciao, ciao. Hi Virgo, this is your reading for the 5th to the 11th of October. Welcome back, and it's nice to see you. Okay, we start off with the Four of Cups. He's drinking, he's sitting on one, and then two others. So you might be doing this, you might be drinking, or you might be feeling depressed and drowning your sorrows, perhaps. Perhaps you're not seeing what is in front of you. If you look at the two other cards, I can understand why. But get out of your head, because there are beautiful changes coming. I can feel it, because we are in the energy of Libra, and this energy um, stands for harmony and peace and gentleness. So don't worry so much. But get out of your head. Don't be depressed. Nothing is going to change if you're just going to sit there and do nothing. So stand up, dust yourself off, and look what is happening around you. You also have the tower. Something has happened. Boom! Unexpectedly. You couldn't make a choice or a decision because you were too much up in your head and you didn't see what was happening around you. So the Divine and the Angels stepped in, or the Cosmos, and they made a decision for you. They are bringing a change. Something was not built on proper foundations, be it in a relationship or in general, in life. That you could have felt imprisoned, yes, and I can understand why, because you've got the Devil. It, the Devil is represented also represents, I mean, Capricorn, so there could be a Capricorn around you, or you could be meeting a Capricorn, that is the new change, you might have been alone, or you might have been feeling out of sorts and alone, and now this change is coming in, and this change is bringing big changes, okay, that's one side of the story, you could be meeting a new love in your life unexpectedly, you weren't expecting this, but there could also be somebody that is manipulating you or bossing you. This could also be you because we're seeing you drinking here, so you might have a bad habit. Now, the cosmos is giving you this change because something was not built on proper foundations. If you are hooked up or if you do have a job, something is not right. It wasn't built on proper foundations, Virgo. There's some you might got you might have got fed up at, at the job and something has changed at the job something with uh, perhaps not reading the small print and so you didn't start this job off well enough and secure enough and you felt trapped and so perhaps that made you starting to drink or create bad habits as the devil means addictions and I rather use the word bad habits. This could be arriving late at work. Boom! Could be because of the COVID, because the bus or the public transport isn't working to schedule. Something like that. And you've got trapped, and now they've said we can't take it anymore. We need people that we can depend on. Okay? Perhaps you might have felt trapped and now this new beginning is here you will be surprised you might be sad and upset because you don't you can't see a way forward so stand up dust yourself off if you do have a habit or a, a bad habit by coming late to work then learn from the past get up in the morning set that alarm clock so it won't happen again when you have a new job because I this new change is and most probably a new job so that you don't feel imprisoned that you can expand uh, yourself when you go to the interview say I would like to grow with the company or within the company I don't want to be chained up I like variety variety after all is the space spice of life and I don't mean with people's feelings don't be the devil 
okay don't play with people's feelings and the same goes for you don't let anybody play with your emotions okay don't let anybody boss you about and be manipulative because then you are the slave then you do feel trapped yes then you would most probably turn to drink and won't see a way out if somebody has a bad habit that's around you tell them to go and find help professional help here we've got the card that everybody loves the hearts and that is the lovers somebody might be out of balance if it isn't you you might not have seen this change coming like I said they might have been out of balance and they've got a bad habit but perhaps this is also a break or a shock that well it's two ways I'm seeing it as either a break from a loved one or it can be um, that you are meeting a new person like I said to Capricorn the lovers means Gemini so you could be meeting a Gemini this could be your soulmate and you could be feeling balanced now this is a balanced person the yin and the yang they can cope with the shadow side of life as well um, okay um, this could also mean either a break or that you're meeting a Gemini okay if you're hooked up with a Gemini and they've got problems um, with drink then tell them to seek advice from an institution and this could be a new start for you within that relationship if they can free themselves because with the devil card in the traditional tarot there's a man and a woman and the hands are free okay so if you feel tied up break free break free from this this manipulation or suppression you're supposed to be in balance like soulmates okay so it could be a breakup but it could also be a, a, a change in the relationship breaking free and leaving your each other free to do what they want and having respect because you know your soulmates we've got the four of pentacles two under his feet one across his chest and one on the top of his head so I mean the Gemini's they are air signs they have plenty of ideas okay so let's put it on here so there could be one of you could be feeling trapped but he's outside the circle so he has broken free so you're going to open up your heart or that person is going to if it is your soulmate that has an addiction then they will break free because they're outside the circle they will open up their mind okay they will open up their mind like like I said tell them to seek help professional help so they can break free of this bad habit so they can open up the mind and the heart again it could be you because this is the devil you're breaking free from the devil alright here you are in your mind you are cl you've closed your mind off your heart and also your energy from the universe okay so my advice is open up break free and see what is coming towards you and your last card is boom the six of swords you're moving onwards you're moving onwards to a better uh, uh, place you're moving away from the devil look at him he's got his back turned towards the devil or the addictions okay and you might be moving home you might be going on holiday you might be crossing water but you're moving away from rough waters to quieter waters good news you're you're going towards the heart where you 
where you've put your heart. Where your heart is, is that's where your home is, or your home is where your heart is. Now think about that one. I don't know the true saying or the, the, the cliché. Home is where the heart is? Well, I think your home is where your heart is. So I think you will fight for each other. But you have to both open up towards each other. It's like he's got his his he's got his back towards this person. So one of you is not taking notice of each other if you're hooked up. You have to break free and come together, your soulmates. If that is what you feel that that is your soulmate, then move away from the trouble. Okay? This is moving towards the heart. This is beautiful. He's facing the heart. Now, let's see what the everyday witch says. I'll take the one that sticks out most. You've got the Eight of Pentacles. So, recognition for your hard work. That could be that you, your hard work is that you've put up with somebody that's manipulating or drinking or whatever and you've endured enough of it. You've got recognition that you're going to move away towards your, where your heart lies. And if they want to come with you, then they will have to get help. If you are in a job, then you are mo they, you've got recognition that you uh, want to be free and that you want to be developed. You don't want to stay stuck in a circle. You want to you don't want to be chained up, you want to be free, um, you've said you spice of life, variety, <laughs> they are giving you a promotion. You could even be starting to travel for work. This could also be a new study. Okay, so you're breaking free out of feeling tied down by something or someone. Okay. Good news is around the corner. So the story goes, you're fed up, you're too much in your head, you don't want to stay in the business that you're in or in the relationship. So you're opening your mind. You're not closing your mind anymore, you're opening up because you're outside the circle. You have spoken to each other and perhaps it's finished or somebody's going to get help make this unexpected change you might not have thought that they would break free from this habit they have but you're important you've put your heart into it and you've shown them that you are you believe your soulmates and you both have come to that conclusion and they're doing something about it okay and they are breaking free from the devil what somebody you or the other person is breaking free okay so I think um, you are going for what you want and if they love you enough they will come with you because the uh, soulmate card is there okay definitely you're joining up when you get the soulmate or the two of cups then and the two of wands you're making plans but you're partnering up two means that you are partnering up your hard work and endurance and patience have shaken them up. There is a big change coming. Okay, Leo. Take care. And this was the next card, the strength card. So you have been strong. You have had durability. But these are the cards that lie there for you this week. But it's quite significant that the strength card comes out as well. Now I'm going to get a card um, for from the TLC for the soul. Provision and look, we've got a door. And if I see a door, then that means you're going through a doorway. Okay? A new beginning. You hold the key to that new beginning. Again. It's going to be beautiful. Hidden within your soul are tiny thoughts and seeds that 
given the right care can sprout into newly found abundance there you go if you've sown the seeds your your hard work you've been talking to them to your partner or to the one that is the the devil don't boss me about ba -ba -ba. you've been planting seeds and you've nurtured them you're moving away from being being stuck and manipulated you will find that all your daily needs are met as you listen to your heart's whispers even small dreams you haven't yet anticipated can become real as an everyday experience of beauty let stressful thoughts fall away trust the ways of your soul to bring you to what you seek your heart listen to your heart okay listen to your heart you will find what you seek so be open look around you and see what's happening and what is on offer don't get stuck being sitting stuck and feeling sorry for yourself is also a bad habit so break free the unexpected is going to happen okay Virgo take care and stay safe and be blessed I hope you've enjoyed the reading ciao ciao oh by the way now I'm seeing upside down look at it you might be flying you're right up at the th you're up up and going forwards right you're rising above it wow sorry about that okay sometimes that happens take care